Hey friends, it's the end of day four of all out war of Russia against Ukraine and there is happened enough to warrant another update. So right now in, in our play of absurdity, we're talking about nuclear escalation. End of day four, nuclear escalation. So four hours ago, Putin had get, gathered his um, minister of defense and another official and ordered them to put his uh, nuclear arsenal on high alert, which is about equivalent to DEFCON 1 uh, in the United States. So why is this happening? Uh, so Putin claims that the sanctions that have sanctions that have been imposed on Russia are illegitimate. Uh, and uh, today ha there have been enough sanctions to, to actually hit Russia really hard. Practically all of Europe instituted a no-fly zone for Russian civil aviation. Um, so any from Ukraine to Spain, they cannot fly over there. I think the Hungary is the only one who, who still keeps their skies open. Uh, in the Scandinavian uh, countries, uh, Finland had closed. I think Sweden is still open. Um, and and uh, th that's number one. Number two is that uh, from yesterday, we remember about the freezing of resources of the central bank, uh, of the reserves of the central bank of, of Russia. And the reason um, he's panicking over that is because the ruble is plummeting. So about a week ago, you would pay about 80 rubles for a dollar. Right now, it's about 150. So ru ruble is plummeting, which fuels the um, instability of internal situation in Russia. A lot of people in Moscow and St. Petersburg are coming out in the streets and protesting the war and with the, uh, with the panic uh, on in the financial market, uh, internal financial market in Russia, it's very destabilizing. So Putin is obviously uh, panicked and he's, uh, he's using uh, anything he can, the, the, the biggest stick that he has, which is his nuclear arsenal. So in reality, I think um, what's happening is two reasons. One is that, as we talked about, he's panicking, he's lost control, and like a cornered animal can be unpredictable, That that's what's happening. Like No sane, rational person in control of their situation would threaten uh, not entire, not. Ukraine, but the entire world with uh, w with his nuclear weapons, because his gri his grievance at this point, uh, when he's talking about nuclear, is not against Ukraine. Ukraine's not imposing sanctions. It's it's the West. It's NATO. He's really mad at that. So as you remember from day one, I was saying this is not about regional conflict in Ukraine. This is war on the West. And I'm hoping you guys are seeing this and, and it's become abundantly clear, uh, especially with the, this nuclear escalation. And number two is that uh, uh, him putting high alert is, is it's a negotiating tactic. But what is he negotiating for? That's another development for today is that there is a peace talks that have been initiated or mediated by a Belarusian um, president uh, Lukashenko. So what do we know about this guy? So this is another uh, character in our play of stupid. So this guy is a is Putin wannabe. He's crushed any opposition that that uh, had arisen. The latest one was in August 2020. People were uh, brutally disbanded and then picked off one by one. And who whoever could flee the country were safe. Who 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 was not uh, as lucky uh, were imprisoned. Uh, any uh, any of his political opponents uh, are now in prison or abroad. Um, so um, he's um, uh, today he was holding a referendum on changes to the, to the constitution, which uh, which voted for a couple of things: one, installing him as president for life, and number two, uh, f uh, freeing him from being convicted of any war crimes or or, or um, political mal malfunctions for as long as he's president. So he's basically following in the footsteps of Putin uh, one to one. Um, so and this guy is mediating peace talks. <laughs> this is this is insane. So anyway, um, so the peace talks are are being held on the border between Russia and Ukraine on the river Pripyat. And, and Pripyat, as you remember, is the river that runs through Chernobyl. Um, so 
Uh, another thing that we know about about, uh, about Belarus is that the referendum is being held. Of course, it's going to be uh, falsified, and the results is going to are going to be in his favor. He's going to be the dictator for life. Nobody will be able to uh, accuse or judge him for any any crimes uh, while he's alive. Uh, another worrying thing is that uh, what uh, most analysts are saying is that he will use his army to aid Putin. As you remember, Kazakhstan had said no to Putin. Um, um, and um, the Chechens that that he was able to uh, elite troops he was able to put in Ukraine were uh, were neutralized. So now uh, Lukashenko is being uh, his uh, is going to put his troops into Ukraine. So um, so and this guy is going to negotiate uh, for peace. Um, this is idiotic. But uh, the it's happening in the city of, of Gomil uh, in in Belarus, and we had sent a, sent a delegation. No word from that yet, but uh, but I, I don't think it's a serious negotiation. Nothing's going to come out of it. Uh, Russia's going to use it to posture and say, "Yeah, we tried, but you see, not, nothing's not, nothing's working." Obviously, nobody in the West believes them. Even China had sort of abandoned uh, Brent and Putin. Uh, the banks in China are not bailing them out. Uh, China had carefully. Uh, 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 carefully condemned his action in Ukraine as well. So at this point, Putin just wants to intimidate the West and shake his brass and say, "Well, uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna create a no-fly zone over your countries. I don't care because I have ballistic missiles. You're gonna re- freeze my reserves and try to cut off uh, Russia from uh, the world financial system." Well, I have I have these nukes. So that's all we have for now. Um, hopefully, this is just a scare tactic. Uh, but uh, if I learned anything in the last four days is that um, predictions are um, are are false at this point. Uh, we'll just see what happens and, and uh, hoping for the best. And obviously, I mean, apparently, I'm not sure how I got this shirt, but go Twins.